Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is the 34th Sunday in ordinary time. The last Sunday in the liturgical calendar of the church celebrates Christ, the King of the universe. This King is a shepherd who cares for all of us and protect us. He is the firstborn, firstborn of all creation, to whom everything is subjected. And Christ is the King who judges the nations on the basis of care and concern for the needy. We all rise. Offer this mass for the eternal repose or for the death anniversary of Nick, offered by Salomero Cerro. For the eternal repose of Antonio, Aurora, and Alma, offered by the Enteria family. For souls in purgatory, offered by Elena Tarubago. For the eternal repose of uh, for Thanksgiving mass by the KFC to Pisto Alberto Assembly. And the Thanksgiving mass offered by Alex Romero and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us not acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy on You came to call sinners, Christ. Have mercy, Christ, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy on us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting, everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, and on earth peace to people, to people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great love. Take 
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant we pray that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The liturgy of the word. When the king of Israel failed the people, God presents himself as a shepherd king who cares for his flock. This love of the Lord finds its incarnation in Jesus, the good shepherd and king. We listen to the first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock, when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered, when it was cloudy and dark. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. I, the lost I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal, but the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. As for you, my sheep, says the, Lo the Lord God, I will judge between one sheep and another, between rams and goats. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Beside restful waters, He leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for His name's sake. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread a table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. 
Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. At His resurrection, Christ is proclaimed the King of the universe, the Lord of time. Every moment and every human activity are embraced in His incarnation and resurrection. Please listen to the second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For death came through man. The resurrection of the dead came also through man. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order. Christ the first fruits. Then at His coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end. When He has over the kingdom to His God, Father, when He has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power, for He must reign until He has put all His enemies under His feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. When everything is subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who subjected everything to him, so that God may be all and all. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by my father. 
inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. And you cared for me in prison, and you visited me. When the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did, when did we see you a stranger and welcome you? Or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say on those on his left, Depart from me, you are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty? Or a stranger or naked? Or ill or in prison? And that ministered your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And this will go to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning. Today is Christ the King Sunday. We respect, acknowledge, and worship the King of the universe. Now, let's try to understand this lesson. This is our last Sunday of, for the year, liturgical year, church calendar. Next Sunday will be Advent. We'll start a new year in the church. So today, we celebrate the solemnity of Christ the King. Now, we know so many kings. But most importantly in the Philippines, we call the late Fernando Po Jr. as King of Philippine Mobes. Who is the queen of Philippine movies? It's not Susan Roses. Roses. It's Gloria Romero. We have so many princes, princes, and prince of Philippine action movies. But who is the megastar? Sharon Coneta. Who is the diamond star? Maricel Soriano. Who is the star for all seasons? Vilma Santos. Who is the superstar? Oh, maray pa kamot ang bilistado nindong maray, updated na maray, inidaw. Who is the queen of intrigues? The late Inday Badiday. Who is the queen of gossip? Christy Permin. And we have enthroned so many other kings and queens in the social media. Who is the king of TikTok? Oh, who is the queen of TikTok? There are so many. But who is Jesus Christ? Now the gospel today is being used as one of the most clear 
and vivid parables. Jesus spoke a lesson very clear that God will judge us in accordance with our reaction to human need. So judgment, human need. Yan. His judgment will not depend on the knowledge we have or the fame we acquired or the fortune we gained or the success we have achieved but on the help and love that we have given to our neighbor that is the qualification that we have to undergo yan ang nakalag nakalagay sa judgment sheet susuratan so this parable today teaches us three things about what must we do or give to the three L's. Three L. The last, the lost, the least, and the last. Those are the three categories of persons who are really in need who are waiting for our help, there Jesus will see who among these three else you have helped. You did something. Because in the gospel, Jesus said, anything that you do to the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you do it to me. In these three L, we can see the face of Jesus. So, the first lesson from this is that what kind of help they need? First, it must be help in simple things. Even children can do that. I have seen in even in television news and in social media that today children are doing that. What are those simple things? Of giving food to those who are in high who are Hungry is simple, easy. We can see that in so many cases now, small children preparing food that they will give to the poor and giving a glass of water also. I knew of one child who was given a small bottle of mineral water. He asked for another. And the mother asked, Why? Ibibigay ko po ito doon sa kaibigan kalaro ko. Wala po siyang mainom. So, binigay niya. Yan, isa lang. Very simple. Very easy. Or, so many other things. Simple and easy things that we can do. And these deeds do not need our names to be published to be written or even to be flashed in projectors or even to be posted in social media that is the first thing that Jesus is asking us to help the, the least, the lost and the last the second easy thing is this help must be incalculating those who helped did not think that they were helping Jesus. They did not think about that. They helped because they could not stop themselves in helping. There are still many people doing this today. They helped not because they ran for public office or so that they may be voted for, for what they did, what they are doing. No. They helped because it was natural and instinctive for them to help. Whereas, on the other hand, the attitude of those who failed to help was, anong attitude, kind of attitude? Akala ko hindi ka nun eh. Hindi kita nakilala, sorry. Akala ko common tao ka lang. We thought it was only common tao who was not worth helping. We categorize people 
We do not want ha? Eh po ang dewing kay po ang kayan Si Apo muna yan Istorbo sa naman yan Para nga ni tamayo na ni Karoling Mga aki Because what we say Patawad oh. Si si nagpapatawad Pinatatawad kita kan aki Bakong kita ang magpatawad sa inda Sinda nagpapatawad sa to kan sa to yung kakuriputan There are so many things that we can do for Christmas Simple things Easy things Even in church Because when you give to the church That is in the name of the people And in the name of the king That's for the king So the third is All such help given Is given to him And such help Withheld Is withheld from him Hindi mo na itulong sa kapwa mo Hindi mo na itulong sa kanya Yung hindi mo binigay Sa kapwa mo Hindi mo binigay sa kanya So let us try to understand These three lessons Christmas is coming We are doing some efforts also In spite of the pandemic But we can still do Some simple things This Christmas If you do not have anything to give That is impossible Because we are not so poor That we cannot give anything more Little simple things Even small children can do something May natada siyang candy Tinaray niya Tapahili niya sa orang aki na Oh, say mo na Sa tuya, for us it's just ordinary Common But then for the king It's very important He's going to Write it down And make a list Of all the things We have done For others Maybe one of, one of these days When we come before the judgment seat Before the judge St. Peter will say Okay, you Apollonio You gave one candy To a one girl Playing on the streets You will say The imam po Kaso arin man yan It was very long time ago You are only 8 years old Masabi ka Pati iyan Yes, every single little thing that we did and we are doing will be written on a list by the secretary of the king. Because when the king sits on his throne and say, Okay, the following did so many things for me. Oh, enumerated the job. What about if your name is not mentioned? What will you do? Then you, your name was mentioned You go to the left Magre-reklamo ka ba? Wala ka namang reklamo Because the book of life Peter will say Okay, let's try it Maribukong ka, gurub-gurub ka na I will open the book of life Oh Ika Ini ang ginibo mo sa sarong simana sa nangani na pitong aldaw, hinagad ng kaguran ng saro sa nang oras para sa iya, ang gabos na oras sa pitong aldaw na yan, para sa imo, na imo nga na itao yan. Arin man po ngayon yan. Di pagsimba. Ngayon no, sa imo gabos na oras, hindi nga nagparapayaman ka kanakol kang naitan na tipo. But then, For just 40, 30 minutes or 45 minutes to go to mass in honor of the king, you did not do because you wanted all the time only for yourself. So you did not help, not even a single person. Okay, if you want to see it, come here. The book of life, oh, basahan na ngayon. Ano ngayon si ginibo ko ngayon kikuyan? Ah, ito, unay mag-a, nakasurat. 
kada akul blanco kasurat only one oh now you want to go to the right go to the left only sa mga nasa right Pano pano ginibo punong puno ng ginawa nila okay compare yourself and judge yourself maaro ka na oh I'm not worthy to stay on the right I'll accept on the left and the Lord will say go to hell oh all you are elect elected to be on the right get inside the banquet is prepared already for you let us join and be happy with the king what will you feel jealousy you will feel angry not on the king but on yourself that is the eternal punishment in hell guilt feelings forever you cannot bring back what you did not do in the past that is your hell that you can see God over there and all your relatives are over there and you are over here down that is hell even if there are no fire but the feeling of loneliness the feeling of being alone deprived of all happiness that you see will make you miserable for the rest and for eternity you cannot do anything except to punish yourself in hell there are so many forms of punishment you just pick up what you want ito garudun mo sa diri mo okay you ask one devil pakigaruda daw ako okay na rob ka man, ka man magagadan that is the punishment in hell you will no longer be with anybody else except by yourself feeling guilty because of what you did not do to the least of our brothers and sisters please stand I believe in God I believe in Jesus Christ his only Son, our Lord, is of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. The third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, we proclaim that Christ is the universal King, and in His name we ask the Father for all the graces needed for the church and for the world, that His kingdom may, may come on earth. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that she may always confidently proclaim the kingship of Christ by building up a kingdom not of riches and of power, but of justice, of peace, and of love, let us pray to the Lord. For those who see little purpose in life, may they come to see that the Christian faith, which proclaims Jesus as King and Lord, will lead them from the darkness, in which they now live into the light in joy and peace of his kingdom let us pray to the Lord for those who suffer and those who care for them for the sick may they know Christ to be a king who was crowned with thorns who suffers with them and who cares for them with an everlasting love let us pray to the Lord for those who fast from this life, may they share in Christ, Christ's victory over death and enter into life. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray with Mary, Queen of Heaven, as we say, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. 
And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, you call us to be part of your kingdom, of which Christ is King. We make our prayers to you with trust in his loving rule, for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The liturgy of the Eucharist. Remember, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son Himself may bestow on all nations the gift of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to Let's the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty eternal God. For you anointed your holy begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and king of all creation so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things re subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of holiness. We call it their courtesy, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks and broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Rolando, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that preach you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs in eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the same is command the poem by divine teaching we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who in, art heaven. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church. And gracious grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And so for each other, the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter under my roof, but say only the say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Have you received the food of immortality? We ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection, protection against, against the malice, malice and, and snares, snares of the devil. Of the devil. May God give you, you we humbly pray. Humbly pray. And, and do thou, thou Prince of, of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, the power of God trust unto hell Satan, Satan and all evil spirits, spirits who wander to, wander the, world, to the world seeking, seeking the ruin, ruin of souls. souls. Amen. O Mary, Mother of God, to the years your people Amen. have called in your intercession. In times of epidemic and illness, we call on you now as our Mother, and ask you to pray for us, that you find healing and refuge and the end to this COVID pandemic. Be to us through the Our Lady of Prom Socor, and draw us ever closer to your Son, the source of all healing and consolation. Our Lady of Prom Socor, hasten to help us. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The pass is ended. Go in peace and always proclaim in our lives that Jesus is our King. Thanks be to God. Please.